Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is a beautiful Tuesday morning here in Boston, Mass. Uh, this is day 324 of the Three Plus Minutes of Planks Challenge. And as always, I am filled with gratitude. Um, thoughts on my mind today. Um, I had a I had a moment with my daughter on Sunday. Uh, spent the day with her, um, went to church, and then hung out with a good friend of hers on a play date, Avery, and his parents, Tom and Leticia. Uh, we ended up going to a place called the Operatium, Operatum in uh, Austin, Texas. Um, I've been there before, but I hadn't been to the particular, the specific place that we had. We went to this actually a park there with a um, with a lake. So we went down and hung out at the lake and uh, an incident happened that day. Um, it was sort of a hill that you go down to get to the lake and then there's a hill, that same hill you go back up to get back to the, the main portion of the Arboretum. Well, as Tom and I were walking up behind Lola and Avery, they were running up the hill. They went up to a certain point of the hill where someone had left a stroller at the top of the hill. Um, for some reason, they messed with it. They uh, played with the stroller, which they shouldn't have. It wasn't theirs to touch. But, and in the process of doing that, they dropped a water bottle from the stroller, which was a child's water bottle, and it went down into these rock, this crevice. And, uh, they tried to go get it, but the water bottle was just too far down to get it. So then Tom and I tried to get it and we couldn't get it. Um, so initially, I'll tell you from my point of view, I was initially going to walk away for a second, not say anything. I was like, man, we made the effort. We tried, we couldn't get it. Now here's the funny thing about it. When I looked down into that crevice to see if I can get it, I looked on the water bottle and on the water bottle, it had Lola's name on a marker. And um, I talk a lot about the fact that, about synchronicity in my life, that I have these synchronous moments. And uh, luckily I had Tom there and Tom said something to me. He's like, man, no. We don't walk away from it, we confront the issue. And I was like, you know what, you're right. And I knew he was right in the moment when I saw my daughter's name on that bottle and it just all clicked in. So I had my daughter and Avery explain what happened to the, the family when they came back up and apologize to it. And the interesting thing about it was the family was actually pretty cool about it. And at the same time, Tom and I were really cool with Lola and Avery. Yes, they had done something wrong. Yes, we told them that they did something wrong, but it wasn't the time to scream or berate them. It was the time to make it a safe space, to let them know that they can make mistakes and they can learn from them. After that happened, Lola then proceeds to tell me about an incident that had happened earlier in the day where they had broken the glass. Now, I'd already known about the incident because I saw it happening. I didn't see it specifically, but I heard it and I knew they were in the general direction and they weren't going to tell us. And then my daughter says, hey, dad, I got to tell you something. Because I had made it a safe space in the previous incident, she felt safe to tell me what happened then. Same thing happened. I thanked her for telling me. I thanked her for her honesty. And I told her how much, how proud I was of her. And I told her, hey, once again, we're gonna make mistakes. But confront your mistakes. Be honest about mistakes, be straightforward. And for me, that was such a teaching moment. It was such an amazing moment. It was a moment that I was blessed with. And I kept talking about it for the next few hours that I was with her, how proud I was of her, how much I loved her and thanked her for being honest with me. 
Think about that if we do that with all the people in our lives. How much better a world will be. Anyway, just got over five minutes. Be blessed today and every day. Talk to you soon. One.